So the first step of our additive manufacturing process is 3D design. Our designer will either create a new design from scratch or take an existing design and improve it, add features that take advantage of 3D printing. We now have the capability of modeling our processes so we can take these virtual designs and simulate our process in the computer, verify the designs are going to work as intended. So once we validate our 3D design, we will start by printing that in plastic. This is a relatively quick and inexpensive process that allows us to give us an actual 3D part versus a virtual design. We're in our additive manufacturing lab in Indianapolis, Indiana, next door to our powder facility where we make the atomized powders used in 3D printing. This printer has a 400 watt laser. A Dr. Blake carries the powder across the build plate. The laser then goes down and selectively melts or centers the particles together to form a solid part. And then this process just builds layer by layer. A key advantage of additive manufacturing is the reduction in raw materials needed to process a part. Because only the powder that's needed for the design is used, the remaining powder is captured. And working with our powder facility, we can actually recertify these powders as needed for different industries. Once we have printed a part, either in plastic or more importantly in metal, we can scan the part and measure the dimensions and validate that we've met the criteria of our design. Additive manufacturing allows for complex parts that cannot be manufactured by traditional machining. This allows our customers to be very innovative. They can create designs that weren't possible in the past, and this can lead to improvements in efficiency, cost, and performance.